I'm going to start it over. Uh, yes, it's streaming. Yes? Yes. Thank you. Okay, I'm going live right now. And we'll step in there in a moment. Okay. All right, good afternoon. Welcome to Noonday Prayer, brought to you on behalf of St. Andrew's Episcopal Church in downtown Bryan, Texas. Um, it's always helpful when we actually connect the microphone, so I hope that uh, some of you were patient with us and are tuning in now that we have a... Uh, it's our take two. Our take two. O Lord, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. From the Book of Common Prayer, on page 787, let's recite together Psalm 133. Oh, how, how good, good and pleasant it is when brethren live together in unity. It is like fine oil upon the head that runs down upon the beard, upon the beard of Aaron, and runs down upon the collar of his robe. It is like the dew of Hermon that falls upon the hills of Zion. For there the Lord has ordained the blessing, life forevermore. And on page 785 of the Book of Common Prayer, let's recite together Psalm 131. Lord, I am not proud. I have no haughty looks. I do not occupy myself with great matters or with things that are too hard for me, but I still my soul and make it quiet, like a child upon its mother's breast. My soul is quieted within me. O Israel, wait upon the Lord from this time forth forevermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. For our meditation today, I want to talk briefly about the idea of our relationship with God. These two Psalms really touched me today. Um, one of them talking about our relationship with each other as followers of Jesus. The other one talking about our relationship with God, of stilling ourselves and being quiet and losing the concerns and cares of our life and just getting in touch with God. Our relationship with God is like any other relationship. It changes and deepens with time and it requires effort. That's why conscious contact is important in seeking to improve our relationship with God. It takes a sense of consciousness to have a relationship with God. To be conscious is to be aware and to be in touch with reality, to live in the present. is It is to have a sense of who we are, a sense of how we are different from everyone else. It is this sense of profound uniqueness that God invites us to bring into our relationship with him. We seek to experience greater conscious contact with God because to, be, to do so is to be more alive, to be more human. The more alive we feel, the easier it is to surrender our own will to God's will, 